Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the third series of uh, pharmacological and toxicological screening methods. In the first unit, uh, this series three deals with uh, transgenic animals. The transgenic animals are those animals in which new or altered genes have been experimentally introduced into their uh, genome by recombinant DNA technology or genetic engineering. They are also called as uh, mutant animals, genetically engineered animals or genetically modified organisms. Uh, let us see the types of transgenic animals. They are disease models used for investigating disease mechanisms. Example, Alzheimer's mouse, AIDS mouse, Onco mouse, uh, which are engineered to mimic the human diseases. Then transformer models, they are genetically engineered to express the protein drugs and antibiotics. Example, uh, this is the world's first transgenic cow, which is uh, Herman, which is a transformer that expresses uh, lactoferrin and uh, transgenic goats, which express uh, antithrombin 3 used to digest the uh, unwanted clots in the human system. Then uh, xenotransplanters, they are genetically engineered to produce organs compatible to humans and transgenic food sources uh, which are genetically engineered to be larger size than the normal uh, types. Uh, for example, this is the genetically engineered salmon fish compared to a normal fish and transgenic scientific models which helps in studying the functions of specific proteins in vivo. Let us see the advantages and disadvantages of uh, transgenic animals. The advantages are increased growth rate, improved resistance, improved food conservation, uh, conversion rates, leaner meat and useful in pharmacological research. The disadvantages, uh, the inserted gene has more than one function and there are breeding problems. The uh, transgenic animals are expensive. Sometimes it may lead to mutagenesis and uh, the lower uh, survival rate of transgenic animals is also a disadvantage. Let us see the methods of production of transgenic animals. They are embryonic uh, stem cell methods in which the DNA is inserted into a vector by rDNA technology and then the embryo can be inserted into pseudo pregnant foster mother and a transgenic strain is established. A similar method is uh, pro nuclear method in which the transgenic strain is initiated from the mouse blastocysts. And the other methods are retrovirus mediated gene transfer uh, methods where it involves uh, viral vectors and the DNA microinjection method. So this is the transgenic mouse uh, where the recombinant uh, DNA is uh, injected into the fertilized uh, oocyte. Then uh, the oocyte develops into a embryo and that is placed in a pseudo pregnant mouse that develops uh, or delivers a transgenic mouse. The next category is a knock-in or a knockout mouse, the targeting vector, the particular genes are knocked in or knocked out and the embryo is implanted into the uterus of pseudo-pregnant mouse. Then chimeric mouse bond is mated with a normal mouse that uh, uh, give rise to the offsprings which are knock-in or knockout mouse. Who created the first knockout mouse? The first knockout mouse was created by Mario or Capacci Martin Evans on Oliver Smithies in the year 1989 and for that they were awarded for the Nobel Prize for Medicine in the year 2007. The first animal we are going to discuss is uh, transgenic mice. Among the other uh, transgenic animals, the very widely used uh, and number of models which are available more are uh, for mice when compared to other animals. So, mice more number of numerous uh, mice models are available, uh, which uh, we will be seeing in the further uh, slides. Let us see about the different transgenic mice which are available for research. Uh, first one is pound mouse, uh, useful in obesity studies, dyslipidemia, and fatty liver disease. Then, a thymic uh, NU NU nude mouse, which lacks thymus. NIH3 uh, nude mouse and CDF1, useful in tumor biology. Uh, transplant research and xenograft research. Next is PGP mouse which lacks P glycoprotein useful in chemotherapy studies, toxicological research and neurobiology. CDE1 mouse uh, which is related to pseudo pregnancy, safety and efficacy. Bulb C mice useful in production of uh, monoclonal antibodies and cancer research. 
SJLE mouse and uh, FBB mouse. They are useful in immunobiological research and retinal infectious uh, diseases. NOD that is a non-obese uh, diabetic uh, mouse spontaneously develop uh, insulin dependent uh, diabetes mellitus. Uh, in, in this case, uh, females are more prone for uh, diabetes. STR1 uh, STR slash 1N mouse. Uh, it was developed by Walton. A male mice uh, develops osteoarthritis uh, greater than the females. Uh, no need for dietary restrictions. Uh, and additionally, these mouse uh, can develop uh, obesity. New Zealand uh, black mouse, NEZB mouse. It develops uh, spontaneous autoimmune diseases like uh, systemic lupus erythematosus, hemolytic anemia, glomerulonephritis, and peptic ulceration. And next is uh, MRL uh, LPR mouse. It spontaneously develops uh, human systemic lupus erythematosus. OB, OB mice. Uh, OB is related to obesity. This is a model related to dyslipidemia, hyperinsulinemia, and hyperglycemia. DBDB mice. It uh, develops uh, diabetic syndrome and significant uh, nephropathy. KK mouse. It carries a yellow obese gene. Developed marked uh, adiposity and diabetic symptoms. NEZO mouse. It develops obesity. Mild hyperglycemia, glucose intolerance, hyperinsulinemia, and insulin resistance. BL6 mouse and develops obesity and transient or sudden hyperglycemia. DBA2FGPCY mouse, useful model to study spontaneous uh, or progressive renal failure. Uh, Senescence accelerated uh, SAM mouse, uh, it is useful for study of age dependent or cognition defects. Uh, next is ACBA, ABAB mouse. It is characterized by defective sebaceous glands. It's a good model for studying alopecia. Chakragati CKR mouse. It's a transgenic insertional mutant which uh, displays uh, lateral circling and locomotor hyperactivity. It's a good model for uh, neuropsychiatric disorders and with uh, dopaminergic abnormalities. Copper zinc uh, superoxide dismutase mice. It expresses uh, superoxide uh, dismutase. And it is actually uh, overexpressed in the human Down syndrome. Then tight skin or TSK mouse. It's a genetic model for uh, pulmonary emphysema associated with uh, right ventricular hypertrophy. Then NC, NGA, TND mouse. It's an inbred strain originated from Japanese fancy mice. It's a useful model to study atopic or itchy dermatitis. The next is uh, transgenic rats. The first model is a noble rat. It is a very good model for development of prostate carcinoma. Copenhagen rat and buffalo rats are useful for transgenic models for carcinogenesis research. OPCD rat, obso prone CD rat, which is useful to for the development of obesity metabolic syndrome. Then spontaneous hypertensive rats and uh, dull salt sensitive rats are genetic hypertension uh, models. Then SHR NCP model uh, which exhibits obesity, mild hypertension, hyperinsulinemia and glucose intolerance. F triple H uh, model is uh, a very useful model uh, for study of pulmonary hypertension. PCK rat, it's related to polycystic kidney disease. PB rats uh, developed by bio breeding uh, laboratories. It spontaneously develops uh, insulin dependent diabetes mellitus that is type 1 diabetes. Then ZF or uh, Zucker diabetic fatty rats or fatty Zucker Fafa rats, useful model for uh, development of glucose intolerance, hyperinsulinemia, and develops uh, non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus without uh, development of diabetic ketoacidosis. The next is uh, WTF Tafa rats. It's a Vistar fatty rat, uh, is genetically obese, hyperglycemic rat established by transferring the fatty, that is Fa gene. From the Zucker rat to Vistar Kyoto rats, these rats are more glucose tolerant, uh, intolerant, uh, and uh, insulin resistant uh, than uh, Zucker rats. The next is uh, Long Evans uh, rat. It is useful model for behavioral research. ESS rat. It's a very useful model. Uh, it develops uh, diabetes uh, from two months onwards, and uh, there is a disruption of pancreatic islets uh, that occurs within six months. Then BHE rats, it develops uh, diabetes only at uh, maturity, that is approximately after 50 days of age. Characteristic features are reduced pancreatic islet stores and show hyperglycemia and hyperlipidemia. The next one is uh, RICO rats. Uh, they are genetically hypercholesterolemic, normotriglyceridemic, non-obese rats. It is used to study the effect of hypolipidemic drugs. 
then TGR M run 2 27 uh, rats. It is a transgenic rat with elevated renin angiotensin system and a model for hypertension. Then TGR ASR AO gen 680 uh, transgenic rats uh, which represents uh, decreased brain angiotensin levels. The other uh, transgenic animals are uh, guinea pig IEF hairless uh, model uh, which is useful for dermatological research. LBG golden Syrian hamster uh, transgenic animal is useful in SARS CoV 2 infections. WHHL rabbits can uh, develop hereditary hypertriglyceridemia and used to study the development of atherosclerosis. OS obese chicken it's a best studied uh, transgenic model for organ specific autoimmune diseases. Example Hashimoto thyroiditis. So it's a very short information of all the transgenic animals go through all the series which is available in the pharmacological and toxicological screening methods playlist in the pharma topics channel uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like this video press the like button share and you can comment thanks for watching thank you